After we're done, moving on to the side taper, we're making our first guideline at a curve, and then we're gonna ball them out and shave the sideburns. Now that we're done balling them out, you want to follow that same shape with the no guard all the way open and continue to use the lever to blend. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Now that we're done with our one guard, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Here I'm switching over to the 3 guard all the way open and we're continuing to debulk the sides. Now that we're done with our side taper, we can move on to our gold FX and continue to line up the C-cup. I always start my way off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. Slowly make sure the hair feeds into the clipper cause if you don't, the hair won't be cut. Okay, now before we line him up, we're going to pin up his hair and debulk with the one and a half guard all the way open. Once we're done debulking, we're starting off in the middle with our goat FX and working our way to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you made it this far into the video, please leave a comment down below. I'm definitely gonna reply. Here I'm using a razor comb to blend in the side a little bit smoother. I also like to always start at the bottom and work my way to the top arch.
Moving on to the side taper, we're going to use our Gold FX to make our first guideline. We're also going to make his beard look as crispy and full as possible. Now that we're done balding him out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Make sure to use the lever to blend your initial guideline out. Now moving on to our one guard all the way open, we're going to create our third guideline and get it ready for the half guard. Make sure to use your lever midway and all the way close to help you soften up that guideline. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Now we're using our two guard all the way open. This guard is going to help us connect our lower guards to the higher guards using our one and a half guard. Now we're switching over to the one and a half guard and it's going to help us erase the line completely. When I start my blend on the beard, I always start with my no guard all the way open. I also slightly close the lever blending into the zero. Moving on to the hairline, we're going to separate his baby hairs from his long hairs and then debulk them with a one guard all the way open. I always start my lineups at the middle and work my way to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, let me know that you made it this far in the video in the comments down below.
because of his light spot, we're going to be very careful and make sure we match both sides correctly. When lining up the C-cup area, I always like to start my way at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. You're gonna see in a bit, once I put the line in the beard, it makes the beard pop out. 